Okay, now we're on uh, June 2011, page 14. We're going to do questions 74 through 76, dealing with an electrical circuit. I just built some things with variable resistors in them. It's really neat. Maybe I'll show you how they work. A circuit contains a 10-volt battery, an amp meter, a variable resistor, and connecting wires of negligible resistance. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the variable resistor is a nichrome wire maintained at 20 degrees Celsius. The length of the nichrome wire can be varied from 10 centimeters to 90 centimeters. The way they do that is they take a long coil of wire, it's not touching, and then they put a little thing that actually touches it, it rides against it, and, um, and then they wire this into the circuit. And so you're either connected to a certain length or you move it over to the next thing and you're connected to another length, or you move it over to the next thing and you're connected to an even longer piece of the wire. And that's uh, volume controls on a lot of old radios uh, work with that. And after a while of jumping from here to here and here, it makes sparks and it would build up a little bit of decay on this. And so you would get a little static uh, on some of your popular volume settings. And you could spray a, a cleaner in there that would clean off that material. It's called contact cleaner. And it would um, make your thing work better. Nowadays, it's all done digitally, so they don't do lengths of wire and resistance. But uh, if you ever get to restore an old uh, radio and the dial is a little um, staticky, that could be it. All right, so anyway, it goes from uh, 10 centimeters to 90 centimeters. The amp meter reads 2 amps when the length of the wire is 10 centimeters. Determine the resistance of the 10 centimeter length of nichrome wire. Okay, so we're going to do a simple resistance and it's worth one point. Well, we're told that the voltage is 12 volts. The current is uh, 2 amps. And they want to know the resistance of the circuit and the wires themselves have no resistance. So, um, Let's say um, the formula of voltage equals current times resistance. So resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. It's one point, so I don't have to show my work, but I want to do it right, so I'm going to show my work. And 12 volts divided by 2 amps, I'm going to say 6 ohms. For a point, I'm saying 6 ohms. I calculate the cross-sectional area of the nichrome wire <laughs> for 2 points. All right, this is great. Okay, let's do this. Uh, what do we know about this nichrome wire? Well, we know the length of nichrome wire is 10 centimeters. Now, they told us a lot of information about that nichrome wire. It goes from 10 to 90, but really, right now, they're just isolating the 10 centimeter section of the wire. So that's all we know about is just that section. So we're going to stay with that. Uh, and we know it's nichrome, and we know it's got a resistance of 6 ohms. And again, if you made a mistake up here, but you carry the mistake properly through here, you get the credit. Well, with nichrome, there's uh, some other information we can know about nichrome wire. Go to our formula sheet, and uh, here, the resistivities of metal. And there's nichrome. We're told that nichrome wire has a resistivity, whatever that is, of um, 150 times 10 to the negative 8 Ohm meters. It says ohm meters here. Ohm times meters. All right. Well, let's go to electricity. And uh, here we've got this formula right here that says resistance equals uh, rho, which uh, in this particular set is resistivity. There it is. So resistivity times length divided by cross sectional area. So we have the formula resistance is equal to rho length over area. Go back and make sure we know that this is rho here. All right, I'm going to do my algebra first. Cross my multiply both sides by a. r a is equal to rho l. Then I divide both sides by r. Now, I know this seems simple for some of you guys, but this is where most of the mistakes are made in the algebra, is this simple little step. So I try not to make mistakes. So I know resistivity, 150 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meters times, now I've got it in centimeters here. I've got to change 10 centimeters to meters and uh, 0.1 meter. And then I divide it by uh, my resistance, which was 6 ohms. 
Uh, let's see, uh, ohms will cancel out. I'll be left with meters squared, which is in fact a unit of area. So I'm pretty confident I set it up properly. Now get my calculator out. 150 exponent negative 8 times 0.1 divided by 6. And I'm going to come up with uh, 2.5 times 10 to the negative. And I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 10 to the negative 8 meter meters. And that's my cross-sectional area with the proper units.